Today's Morning Minute, kingdom living is knowing God's love for me. We read in Romans 8, verses 31 to 37 in the Passion Translation. So what does all this mean? If God has determined to stand with us, tell me, who then could ever stand against us? For God has provided his, has proved his love by giving us his greatest treasure, the gift of his son. And since God freely offered him up as the sacrifice for us all, he certainly won't withhold from us anything else he has to give. Who then could dare to accuse those whom God has chosen and loved to be his? God himself is the judge who has issued his final verdict over them. The final verdict, not guilty. Who then is left to condemn us? Certainly not Jesus, the anointed one. For he gave his life for us, and even more than that, he has conquered death and is now risen, exalted, and enthroned by God at his right hand. So how could he possibly condemn us? since he is continually praying for our triumph. Who could ever separate us from the endless love of God's anointed one? Absolutely no one. For nothing in the universe has the power to diminish his love toward us. Troubles, pressures, and problems are unable to come between us and heaven's love. What about persecutions, deprivations, dangers, and death threats? No, 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 no. For they all are impotent to hinder the omnipotent love even though it is written. All day long we face death threats for your sake, God. We are considered to be nothing more than sheep to be slaughtered. Yet even in the midst of all these things, we triumph over them all, for God has made us to be more, more than conquerors, and has demonstrated love is our glorious victory over everything. Love is our glorious victory over everything. So now I live with the confidence that there's nothing in the universe with the power to separate us from God's love. I am convinced that his love will triumph over death, life's problems, fallen angels, our dark rulers in the heavens. And there's nothing in our present or future circumstances that can weaken his love. There is no power above us or beneath us, no power that could ever be found in the universe that can distance us from God's passionate love, which is lavished upon us through our Lord Jesus Christ, the anointed one. Kingdom living is knowing God's love for me. Amen and amen.